I'm Ashley Harris. And your case was JD20223? Yeah. In uh, Children's Court. Um, Dependency Court. Pardon? Dependency Court. Dependency Court in Santa Clara County. And um, we'll just briefly go over some um, really quick things in case people haven't seen part one yet. Um, you and your siblings were stolen by CPS um, back in 2010, is that correct? Yes. And did your parents do anything? No. Where was your father when this happened? He was at work. Oh, okay, right. So he, he, uh, he wasn't even there when this occurred. Um, when he came back, he didn't know what happened because nobody was at the house. I see. Did you ask the police to in anything about your father? Me and my sister asked if they would inform him. And what did they say to that? They said they would take care of everything. I see. Nothing happened to your father? Uh, was he arrested for this, for anything? Did the police arrest him and take him to, to jail for anything? Did he hurt you or hurt your other your no. siblings? I see. Did they hurt your mama when no, this occurred? They did hurt her. What did they do? Um, they were very physical with her when they didn't have to be. She was. cooperating with them and they forced forced her into the car, but they hurt her in the process. Well, they, so they physically hurt her? Did they, what, what did, you, did you see anything that they did? No. But you know that they hurt her? Yes. I see. This is uh, about and, four, almost four and a half years later. You were later. In a, um, recently in a, a group home, is that it? And you, yeah. you recently left that group um, home. Could you explain really quick what happened there and why you I left? Am in California Anchor Residence, um, 1787 Hirsch Girls Court, East San Jose, 95140. I left a few days ago because one of the girls that was bigger than all the staff was bullying and um, tried to fight me and Nobody did anything about it, not even the police. So the police were called. Um, Is that every right? Every incident report, the police are required to cite the facility. They Yet, didn't even stay for five minutes, though. They didn't even care about uh, what had occurred to you? Uh, well, I mean, what happened? This girl, can um, this happened, and I went to my room to remove myself from the situation. And she came back into my room with a belt in her hand and asked me if she wants, if I want her to beat me with the belt or with her hands. So she threatened my life also. She, she asked me if I want to die and stated that she will kill me. Usually when this happens, the police are supposed to 5150 that person either in juvenile hall or the mental facility usually EPS, and they can stay there up to 72 hours until they need further help. This did not happen in that situation. This has happened to me many times, but I am going to tell you that this girl needs to be in a level 14 lockdown facility. That is a high rank facility where staff are allowed to put their hands on you because People, because she is being violent and threatening the lives of other residents. Jerry Reese, the um, owner of that girl's house and the um, director accepts anybody really just to have his facility full to get paid He more does not money. interview them, he does not ask them questions, not even over the phone. As soon as they find somebody, they just threaten the up. lives of residents in the Level 9 facility by putting criminals like this girl into Level 9 It's facility. a facility, from, from what I've heard or uh, understand, they receive donations sometimes. Um, 
do do they ever get anything for the children that they took for themselves maybe and and that the children that are staying there had never received something that was in, intended for the well, children last year in december when i was at bill bolson center director um juan turner from bill bolson center um the facility on the Alameda, um, they received a lot of donations from Costco, but the staff kept it for themselves, as, if, as in food like chocolates and specialties like popcorn. They got, um, I think they got clothes, they got all kinds of things because they had me and a different resident help them load all that stuff up into their van. Was there any a time when any money was ever promised to you for anything? Oh yes, um, this year in um, around June is when I left, but um, before that, in May, I was at Bill Wilson Center's other facility, um, a girls facility in Mountain View. 907 View Street, also Director Juan um, Turner. They promised me $50 if I take the depo shot, which is a form of birth control. They promised me $50 every three months that I will take the depo shot. And did you ac accept this offer and receive money for taking this depo shot? I agreed to take the depo shot and they, um, they um, scheduled an appointment at Planned Parenthood in Mountain View. I got the depo shot on my, um, by my hip, like in this area. They did not give me $50, no. Do you, do you wish now that maybe you had, um, you know, you had instead refused to take it instead, uh, if you could change your mind now? Well, yes, but also they did not inform my parents who do have parental rights over me. They're supposed to ask permission for things like this, especially at places like hospitals where they say they're going to sedate you or drug you. They need permission to do that, but they never asked my parents permission. Ashley, were you ever aware um, or did you ever... Um take the stand in court to testify on your parents' behalf when uh, your mother or father or both had any trial or hearings? And, I, and I was never told the dates of the hearings. I was never informed when the hearings were, and I was never notified that I was allowed to testify. So Rachel Fightmaster uh, never shared uh, with you that you could testify uh, for or against your parents? No. That's interesting to me, Ashley, because if that sounds to me, I don't understand if they felt that your parents had done something wrong, that that you would uh, have no problem testifying against your parents. They they would have no problem putting you on the stand because it would look like they were telling the truth. Um, so it sounds to me like... Um, they kept you from the knowledge so that you wouldn't get on the stand to testify because it would have been in your parents' favor. Would you agree with that? Yes. So did your parents take you from the group home at all just to... Um, go back and, and just mention this for the second part. I think we covered it in the first part, but did, did your parents take you from there at all? No. So they weren't waiting for you in a car or they didn't? Go ahead and read what you want to share. Um, the 10 4, 14, I, Ashley Harris, give permission and full rights to my parents, Francine Stevens, my mother, and Scotty Harris to file a complaint to sue legal, legal le, litigation against Jerry M. Reese, owns and serves as 
President DBA California Anchor Residence Inc. So you've just signed that document for your um, is what you did. Yes. Thank you, Ashley. We're going to end this interview, and um, if we have, need to come back, um, I'm sure we will. Um, if you have the time, and and, uh, and and it's something that you want to do of your own free will and accord, and that's what you've done today. This you've done this of your own free will. Yes. Thank you, Ashley.